Chapter 4 Then the angel who had been talking with me returned and woke me, as though I had been asleep. "'What do you see now?' he asked. I answered, "'I see a solid gold lampstand with a bowl of oil on top of it. Around the bowl are seven lamps, each one having seven spouts with wicks. And I see two olive trees, one on each side of the bowl. Then I asked the angel, "'What are these, my lord? What do they mean?' "'Don't you know?' the angel asked. "'No, my lord,' I replied. Then he said to me, "'This is what the Lord says to Zerubbabel. It is not by force nor by strength, but by my Spirit,' says the Lord Almighty. "'Nothing, not even a mighty mountain, will stand in Zerubbabel's way. It will flatten out before him. Then Zerubbabel will set the final stone of the temple in place, and the people will shout, "'May God bless it! May God bless it!' Then another message came to me from the Lord. Zerubbabel is the one who laid the foundation of this temple, and he will complete it. Then you will know that the Lord Almighty has sent me. Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin, to see the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hand. For these seven lamps represent the eyes of the Lord that search all around the world. Then I asked the angel, What are these two olive trees on each side of the lampstand? And what are the two olive branches that pour out golden oil through two gold tubes? Don't you know? he asked. No, my lord, I replied. Then he said to me, They represent the two anointed ones who assist the Lord of all the earth. 